Hello everyone and welcome to the Coin A Geek YouTube channel. My name is Elliot. I'm one of the co-founders of Coin A Geek and I'm super excited to talk to you guys today. This is your first time, which I'm assuming is most of you. This is a brand new YouTube channel as evidenced by my amazing background that we have there. Look, I can't figure this out yet. My man cave with my wife's uh, pink, um, whatever that is back there. Um, <laughs> it's obviously uh, not maybe quite ready for prime time. What I'm talking with you guys is about today is Sony's announcement of the new PlayStation 5 controller. Exciting, right? We haven't seen anything from Sony in terms of actual hardware. This is the first time we're getting a glimpse at what Sony's console might look like, what kind of direction they're going with. Obviously, it's just the controller, so it's not the full thing, but I'm excited to show you uh, what it looks like if you haven't seen it at this point. But first things first, let's show off what I'm talking about here. So first thing I wanted to look at here is directly from the PlayStation blog is notice that they're introducing this controller as the Dual Sense. Now, for those of you guys who may not know or care, Dual Sense is a brand new name for Sony's controllers. In the past, we've just had the PlayStation controller, we've had the DualShock, we've had the six axis controller, but most of the time people associate Sony with the DualShock controller. That's the controller that has the two um, analog sticks and uh, has basically looked the same all the way up until this generation. I'm very curious to see exactly how big it is. It looks bigger just from an optics perspective. However, I don't think it's going to be quite as big as the, um, it almost looks like a, like an old Xbox controller, like huge. Those Xbox uh, original controllers were massive. But um, as I have been reading, they said it's smaller than it looks. Let's get a better view from it from the side here. So this part right here on the surface looks almost identical to the DualShock 4. You have the same shape for those triggers. Um, you still have the textured dual shock, or excuse me, uh, dual analog sticks, and they're still parallel, so they haven't messed with that much. Now, a lot of this um, difference is in aesthetics. You're going to see it's got this new coat of paint. Obviously, the white really stands out compared to other uh, Sony controllers, which has typically been gray or black as the standard. Um, obviously, as the PlayStation goes along, they put out more colors. Red, gold actually have two colors that are one. DualShock 4 that's gold and one that's like dark blue. So, um, but black has pretty much, except for the PlayStation 1, always been the standard go-to. So it's really interesting to see that they're trying something different there. Other than that, the other big thing you're going to notice is that it looks like there's still a light bar, and that light bar has gotten significantly smaller. One of the major complaints that they had on the DualShock 4 was that there was this big light bar right here that took up a good portion of the front of the controller and ended up draining a ton of the battery. People were not happy with that, so it looks like they've cut that down a lot and expanded this touchpad, which, if I can just go on record as saying, I'm actually very surprised that they kept this, this touchpad. I know that it's going to be backwards compatible, um, but honestly, they could have mapped the touchpad controls from the PlayStation 4 games to just about anything else. That touchpad was almost never used. This is on GameSpot's website, and they're pointing out here some stuff we've already talked about, the design, two-teller color design, form factor, the light bar placement, haptic feedback, which I have tried to find a real simple definition of haptic feedback, and all I can figure out is that it's basically better rumble technology. So um, it is more akin to what you find in your cell phone, maybe when you press the buttons and it gives you sort of a, a texture or a, um, a tactile sensation, like you're actually uh, pressing something solid. Um, and then adaptive triggers. According to Sony, adaptive triggers will make it so you can truly feel tension of your actions, like when drawing a bow to shoot an arrow. Honestly, I mean, this stuff is cool and I'm excited for it, but it's basically just improving on existing technology. There's nothing that's necessarily uh, groundbreaking in that. Um, it's just basically the next level, next generation of rumble technology and, and uh, analog technology, which is what we expect, right? If we're going to get a new generation of uh, technology. Some other um, notables here, there's a rechargeable ba battery. Now, the battery in here is worth noting because the Xbox Series X controller, which is the next generation of Xbox controllers, is going to actually stick with AA batteries. So you're going to have to either have a whole buttload of AA batteries that you can change through or just have some rechargeable ones. I personally like this better. I don't like having batteries all lying around or having to worry about my batteries running out. Hopefully they're going to have a good charge time because the, the DualShock 4 feels like you can get about maybe five or six hours worth of game play before you have to recharge it. Um, don't quote me on that. But the USB port, you're going to see here, if I can get back over right there, the USB charging point, USB-C, excuse me, 
USB-C. Hooked on phonics. Um, USB-C port is right there at the front, which is wonderful because that is a standard, um, the new standard in charging. Um, so you can pr pretty much hook it up to anything else. So you can tell I was trying to get definitions on haptic feedback, but we're not going to talk about it any more than I did. Um, the other notable here is this. Um, okay, so there's a built-in microphone, which is kind of cool. They're still going to be allowed to plug in um, a third-party external mic, so that won't be your primary uh, source of communication, probably. But um, it's pretty cool that they'll allow you to have that just in case you need to drop a quick message or um, be able to chat without needing a mic. The last thing is that they, the create button, um, which the share button is right here. It used to be right here on the DualShock 4. And so what they've decided to do this time is go with the, what they're calling now the create button. So that just sounds like a fancier name for basically the exact same thing as share until we get more details on it and see how it's functioned. Um, right now, it just simply seems like a name change. So um, yeah, still overall kind of cool. All right, so there you have it, the Dual Sense from Sony, PlayStation 5's new controller. Personally, um, first impressions are I was a little surprised at how much it looked like an Xbox controller or a Switch Pro controller. I own both. In fact, let me pull this bad boy out. Here's an Xbox controller. If you look at the Xbox controller here, you can tell where the bottom part of it here um, kind of mimics what we're seeing with the PlayStation uh well, sorry, the DualSense controller. I can't call it the DualShock 5, but it has a similar shape to that. It feels pretty good when I hold it in my hand. I don't know if it's, this is going to feel the exact same or not, but um, the PlayStation DualSense looks a little bit wider. In fact, it even looks more like the Switch Pro controller. So I'm excited by that because the Switch Pro controller to me actually feels when you pick it up ergonomically it feels amazing in your hands it just sits in there really nice and natural so i can bet that sony has been uh testing those other controllers out but the other thing i really like about it is the design i'm really happy that they went with something different than just kind of standard black i like the white a lot um the white and sort of black trim and so the design looks cool to me i'm definitely a big sony fan i've had all the playstations from one through four and so um, i'm gonna buy one no matter what but it's cool to see the evolution that they're taking. It seems to be pretty well liked. Um, but now all we have left to see, guys, is the rest of it. So that's my next question, Sony. Where is the PlayStation 5 console? Is it going to be white? Are you going to have interchangeable parts? What's going to go on with it? I'm excited to see what's next from Sony. But so far, this has got me pretty hyped. And, um, yeah, curious to see what you think. If you could, just go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel below. Again, we're just getting started, so if you want to be on the ground floor, we appreciate your support. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Until next time, take care.